Frank, did you want me to talk about financial matters or just back on you? Do you want me to talk about you a little bit further? I don't think we've had enough so far. Is there anything else you'd like me to add? Okay. Is enough? To, okay. You sure? I don't mind talking about you for like five minutes. I think, you know, some things you haven't covered. So, um, thank, thank you, uh, everyone. My name is, as Frank said, my name is Mike Purcell. I've uh, been on the board, as you heard a lot of, for, as, as you heard with a number of people tonight, for almost uh, a lot of years, almost 10 years, and I've been the finance chair for the majority of those years. And I also will be coming off this uh, year. But I will just tell you, it's been a real privilege to serve on the board and to serve as the finance uh, committee and to really serve the Mauer and community in that regard. It really has been an honor and a privilege to do that because it's been a great group of people uh, that we've worked that I've worked with and I think we've really accomplished a lot over that period. So and I'll, I'll add I thank Frank for his leadership. I think as I was sitting there I was thinking one of the criteria to be on the board is that you probably have to say nice things about Frank. Have you noticed that? That's a, I think that's a primary criteria when we're looking for board members. So um, anyway I have I guess I'll call it the maybe not exciting part of the meeting which I'm going to talk about financial matters. So I guess some of the more fun stuff will come later but um, I'm just going to take a couple minutes, really hit three points. I'm going to talk about the budget, the overall budgeting process. I want to talk to you about tuition and the increase. Um, be very transparent as to where that goes. And then lastly, I'll talk to you about the endowment and uh, the debt levels of the school. Again, just to, to basically be transparent and let everyone know where, where we're at. Um, first of all, I'll talk about the budget. And I think I've talked about this in the past. It's a very bottom-up budget prepared by management. We're very fortunate to have a CFO of Ted Coniglia's Quality, who is an incredible asset uh, to the school. Been here for almost 30 years uh, and knows this place inside and out and doesn't let any dollar go out of here without him, you know, without him scrutinizing it very heavily. And so he's just, uh, you know, just been a tremendous asset, as I said, to the school and it's been great to, to work with him. So, you know, he puts together a very detailed, bottom-up type budget, looks at all from a quantitative sta standpoint, all the expenses that it took to run the school, always looking for ways to save. And over the years, he's done a great job in terms of finding a savings, whether it's in, you know, the benefits, the healthcare area, whether it's in utilities, whether it's in financing costs, he's always looking at that. Um, um, but then as a board, as a finance committee, we step back and not just look at quantitative matters, but we, we factor in qualitative matters, okay? What have, what have past increases been? What's what's going on with the economy? Where are we at with financial aid? Um, what's happened with demand, you know, for the various, uh, you know, levels at school? You know, where are peer schools at? We look at all that stuff. So factor in both the quantitative and, and qualitative and therefore come up with a budget that's, again, reviewed very thoroughly by the finance committee and ultimately um, by the board. So the result of that process, uh, as you probably saw in a letter, um, resulted from a tuition standpoint about a 4% increase at the upper school and a very modest 1% uh, increase in the uh, middle school. So you may be thinking, okay, 4% um, is higher than what inflation's been running. So why, you know, why is the school, and probably most of you that have any other, you know, ch children in higher education are probably seeing the same thing. But you'd probably say, why is that a little bit higher? So let me let me talk about that from both the revenue and expense standpoint. First of all, from a revenue standpoint, um, you know, tuition is about 90% of the overall revenues of school. We're very heavily dependent upon tuition. We don't have the luxury of having some of the large endowments that a lot of the other schools have and to be able to draw on that. So we rely heavily upon tuition, and I'll talk about endowment in a couple minutes. So you've got that number one. And it also what says the importance of continuing to drive other revenue sources. You know, all the importance of whether it's annual giving or BASH or the golf outing or plan giving or EITC, they're all very critical in order to keep, you know, tuition, um, you know, levels low. So it's heavily dependent upon that. Um, having said that, we continue to be now for all the years I've been here the lowest in terms of our interact schools, in terms of where we're at from a tuition standpoint, if you would take a look at some of the other schools, uh, Frank's alma mater and some of the others in that regard. Um, so that's on the tuition side. On the expense side, very simple. Where did, the, where did that 4% increase go to? I mean, almost in 95 to 98% goes to really a couple areas. Salaries and benefits, financial aid, okay? And then some miscellaneous others, but it's really salaries and benefits, financial aid. And I'll start with salaries and benefits. If you're in a school, most schools, their expense structure, about 75% is in the salaries and benefits area. That's where it's really at, okay? And at Malvern, we always kind of, again, benchmark our ourselves against where we're at with peer schools, etc. Um, and one of the things we found over the last, you know, couple years or so, we, we dropped a little bit in terms of comparison to other schools because we're able to get a lot of data that shows it by level, etc. Um, and so, you know, we looked at the budget for this year just to give you an idea. The average, you know, salary is about a three percent increase. Okay, so I said four percent on the tuition side, you get three percent right off the bat to go into basically salaries and benefits. And I think any parent that's here would say that, you know, paying the salaries are really the lifeblood of the school um, and paying them appropriately. And, and compensating them is, is clearly 
really you know a wise thing to do. So that's where most of it's going. Um, financial aid was the other thing that I mentioned, um, and we're very cognizant of the sacrifice. Frank talked about the sacrifice to send kids here. So we're very cognizant of that. So we've increased the financial aid budget, both middle school, upper school. It's at the highest level it's ever been, both from an absolute amount and as a percentage of the overall revenue. So there was a conscious effort, again, knowing the, the cost of the school to increase. So we increased but both of those, and then some miscellaneous increases for maintenance. If you look around, you'll see some deferred maintenance that we've put off for a period of time that it's going to be spent in, in some other areas. That's where the tuition, that's where your increased dollars goes to. I mean, really, those two with some, miss, you know, again, with some other smaller ones, but it's it's the salary, um, salaries and benefits and, you know, and the financial aid area. Um, third, uh, and, and I'll, I'll conclude by saying it's an incredibly tight budget. It's basically razor thin. And as a matter of fact, the one thing I should probably, that I didn't mention, I should probably mention for the first time in a number of years, to make it balance, we're actually drawing down on endowment. We've been fortunate that we've balanced the budget and ran for seven to eight years, almost the entire time I've been on as the, as the finance chair, of not having to draw on endowment. But this year, we are drawing on endowment to balance the budget, which, you know, if we didn't, the tuition even would be higher than that. So again, we're very cognizant of, uh, of that. Uh, uh, of where we're at from a tuition standpoint. Um, last item I said I'd talk about was endowment and debt levels. We are a little bit over on an endowment standpoint, a little bit over $16 million. Uh, good news and I don't want to say bad news, but good news and challenge. Good news is that that has doubled over about the last five years. Uh, we've been fortunate. I guess yesterday was the six-year anniversary of the bull market, so we've been fortunate to have that be, uh, that are back as well as some contributions. So we've been able to double. And the debt is about $9 million. So you've got endowment of 16 and, and $9 million. And I I guess I'm, I'm very proud to say that just hours ago today, we actually closed in a very significant refinancing, refinancing all our debt, um, which will result in significant savings. You know, very favorable rates that we got. Uh, as you know, the rates have been very attractive, but today, after months of working on this, we closed today, um, and it'll be a lot of savings to the school over a period of time. I, I thank Paul Finley for his leadership in that regard, but really, 95% of it goes to Ted. Ted is the guy Paul and I would meet and would maybe make the decisions or help Ted make the decisions, but Ted drove everything and got this thing to closing. And I think, uh, so I heard someone say that I've never seen Ted smile as much as he did today. But I, just because I think of the prou how proud he is to serve Mauer for all those years and to see something that he accomplished today that's really going to benefit the school over a period of years. You know, And that's, I think, the type of you know CFO that we have, to see how happy he is knowing the future impact it's going to have in the school. So um, summary, before I get off, um, school, very sound you know, financial condition, um, very strong strong, capable management at the helm here and from a financial standpoint. Your tuition dollars are spent very effectively, very efficiently, um, and you got great oversight, I think, from the Finance Committee and the Board. Uh, the challenges, I think, could be the growth of the endowment continues to be something that's very paramount going forward, which we'll be hearing them about, and again, continuing to develop other revenue sources to keep tuition low and affordable, I think, are some of the things that we'll be continued to work on. So, um, with that, uh, I'll be around at the end for any questions in public, or I'll stay around afterwards if anybody, you know, people sometimes want to ask me some things in private, I'll be happy to stay around. So, but that's kind of a quick snapshot of our financial condition. So, with that, I now want to turn it over to our head of school, Christian Talbot. Christian? Thank you.